Hi guys, so this is going to be a pretty quick video. I just had a fun idea, I think, for a stocking stuffer. It's based on a Mexican apple, candy apple kind of thing that I like to make. Um, if I have any links in the description box for some of the items that you are able to find like on Amazon, um, some of the food items, those will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items to those links. Um, hopefully you're lucky enough to have a Mexican market nearby that you can get these things and put this together if you're interested in something like this. I am using the same bags I showed in the previous videos for some different treats and things that I'm making but I like to make these apples and I usually make them by from scratch and basically you take like a green apple and, well for me those taste the best and you cover it with this um, concoction of candy that's like tamarind candy it has like some chila powder in it possibly maybe some uh, lemon kind of powders in it if you want to use that it has something called miguelito it has like all these different things depending on how you like to make it some people just take this other candy called puparindo and you warm it up and stick it on the apple cut it up and the apple is just like tart and sweet and tangy and a little bit spicy they're so good and i have another video on making that plus like doctoring it up in a fun way um where you make like a plate of it and then in the middle you put like the Japanese peanuts that they're Mexican peanuts but the Japanese peanuts that we like I'll show you those in just a minute and um, you add a little more of uh, some sauces uh, just depends I use chamoy maybe a little shot of lemon juice or lime juice on there it's just really yummy um, I'll link that video in the description box too in case you're wondering but I thought about this I'm like you know it'd be cute if for like a little stocking stuffer as if each kid was also given one of these to make their own. So they have these things called foritos. I've never really tried these because like I said I make them from scratch but it seems like people like them. They're still around. They've been around for years so I guess that's a good thing. Um, and I picked up two different flavors. I think on Amazon they sell them in batches. Um, different types and stuff and stuff and tough. But I'll just show you. So this one's um, chamoy it says and I think this one's spicy here. I can't remember what it said. Uh, you know what? I don't really know the difference. So this one just says foritos and this one says chamoy. Well, either way. Uh, paso de caramelo, sabor tamarindo. Okay, this one's more chamoy flavor and this one's more tamarindo flavor, but I have a feeling they're going to be about the same flavor. It doesn't matter. So, for me, each one of these little things, it's already packed up and as you can see, it's kind of like a paste. You're going to kind of warm it up as you work with it. You're going to wrap it around an apple. Now, it says there that this can cover two apples if you want a thin amount or one apple really thickly, you know, wrapped. I got this little Miguelito. This is, um, I don't know, this one's kind of like this chamoy flavor. It's a little bit spicy too, but you can put this on your fruit. It's like um, a liquid tahin basically, and you can debate that or whatever. That's how I would um, call it, but it's just a different thing. So um, what I'm going to do in the same little goodie bag is include probably two of those. And then I just picked these up. How cute are these little tajin from Amazon? Because I wanted a ton of them. And there are 40 of these little guys. So I'll probably put two in each pack. Because you can always do with tajin. You just have it in your purse and sprinkle it on everything. But um, really I put it on fruit. So I'll put a couple of those. And then I also grabbed these peanuts. Now, I did not know what these peanuts were going to look like in real life. Because they come in different sizes. And it was very hard to tell on Amazon the sizing. So I think I got the wrong size of this. But I do have a right size on order. Only because I didn't want to go back to the store and get them. Because I have Mexican markets all around. So I could buy them there. But um, I got these. The Japanese peanuts. Now as you can see these are really big. I think they're even bigger than the bag. So I might have to hold off. Or if I can bend these. Maybe it's just going to be a bag full with this too. You know. Who knows. You can never have too many of these, <laughs> but I mean, maybe you can when you can't get them in the bag, right? So I'll have linked the size that's smaller, but if you want to see these, because these are so yummy, I mean, fine. But I do have smaller bags on order. So for now, we have the Miguelito, we have this guy, and we have little bottles of tajin, and then I'm going to put smaller bags of those peanuts I just showed you. But basically... They're called Japanese peanuts. If you had Japanese peanuts before, they have like a thick coating on them. They're so good and crunchy. So these are similar, but they're coated a little bit differently. So um, this is cacahuate estilo japonés, right? Um, they're just a little bit different the way they make them for like the Mexican uh, markets or however. So really good. Um, and then I'm going to wrap this on here and I have a little clippy I'm going to put on there. But I also want it to come with some instructions. So... You know, my nieces and nephews, my kids, obviously I'll have my kids. I think even my nieces and nephew knows how to make them already. But uh, I'm going to put in here some instructions, and then of course, like I said, the peanuts. And um, 
like a little tag that says something about it. So right now, when we cut to the next scene, I'm going to show you how I typed that up and printed it, okay? And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, this is probably the least thing that I need to show, but I just want to show you guys how, um, what I did to write up the little info. Okay, let's open that up, and let's open it really nice and big. Okay, so... This is what I did. I just made a table with four inserts. So I insert a table, you know, if you're using something like this, you know, insert, and then I did table, and then I selected, you know, two by two, basic, sorry, if I said four by four, two by two, so that there's two this way, two down, and then that popped in there. And um, before I had done that, I had actually written up one of them, so then I, all I did was copy and paste it into the squares, right, the four areas. Um, so it just says chamoy apple kit, and then I just put instructions to make your yummy apple. And um, step one, wash your hands. <laughs> Grab a clean apple, green ones taste best, you know. Uh, step two, open the Miguelito chamoy and apply a little all over the apple again. If you don't have that stuff, don't include that step, because it's not necessary, but I think it makes it easy too. It gets on your hands, it kind of manipulates the forito, the little cover, better. So open the forito, you can make one apple covered in thick coating or two apples covered with less. Just apply the forito to the apple like if you were covering it with Play-Doh, <laughs> which is not something we do all the time, but you know what I'm saying. It's just, uh, I think people can relate to that more than trying to explain to take off pieces and kind of, you know, get it on there. But anyway, step four, sprinkle the apple with tahine or sprinkle tahine on a plate and roll the apple in it and you're all done. And then the optional thing is to cut up the apple, arrange it nicely, and then place the Japanese peanuts in the center and top with more Miguelito, chamoy, which is really yummy. Actually, if you put a little splash of lime juice too, that's good. Um, and then the second one comes up. So I'm going to print this on cardstock and let it go. But I think I'm going to put that information on the inside of the package. So over here, I need at least nine of these. So let's say ten. So now I'm going to insert another table. Um, that is... Hold on. I'm actually still in the table. That's what happened there. That's why it's acting funny. I think the... Here we go. I want to insert a table that is two by five. It could probably be smaller than that. Um, I don't really do need to do the table for this part because I think on the outside tag I'm going to do something that has to do with like a uh, chamoy apple kit or something. So uh, I'm going to I'm going to highlight that, <laughs> and I'm going to mess with the um, the font. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of find a fun font. That font's not bad. American Typewriter, it's actually really cute. And then, oh, Condensed Bold. How about Bold? That's cute. And then make it bigger. Probably, let's say 25. Let's see what that looks like. And, you know, I'm eyeballing this. I have no idea what this is going to look like when we actually <laughs> print it out. And I also want it centered. So I'm going to kind of play with this a little bit. I mean, this is something you guys can obviously do on your own. I'm going to copy and paste that into each little um, bit here, and I'll be right back. Okay, one thing I will show you guys, and I don't know why this is or what happens here, but um, to get rid of the border, and this is how I do it because I'm old school. I just highlighted, you want that little... Um, arrow, it just depends on what, you know, I'm using Word, what you're using, but I can click on borders and shading, and this is the easiest way I can find to get rid of the lines, I don't know why, I always have a lot of trouble with that, so I just say none, and then okay, and those lines go away, because all I wanted it was to be gridded kind of right, I'm not going to print this third page because it has nothing, so in my printer I'm going to put in some cardstock, some white cardstock, and, you know, we can do color in the lettering, but... I hardly ever do that. So I'm just going to print everything. I do need a couple copies of this. I only need one one print, one print, copy of this one, so I'll probably just send it to print. Obviously not forward and back or whatever. It needs to be separate pages. And I'll have printed out as many as I need so we can put our little baggies together. Okay. So I just want to show you kind of how I do this part of it. Um, I did the exact same thing with this. Like I said, I inserted a table. I had my words. And then I just kind of uh, manipulated them that way. I don't know when I copied and pasted this. It went over here and it wasn't um, 
uh, centered, you know, like this kind of thing. And then when I copied and pasted the rest of them, when I pasted the rest of them, those were centered. So this one I had to justify, right? It was justified left, so I had to center it. But the rest of them <laughs> uh, copied and pasted just fine. So who knows? Anyway, um, all right, so I'll print these out and we will finish up our project. Okay, guys, so I printed up those pieces. Let's get this to the side. And what I'm going to do is these little guys. I'm just going to cut them up with my little deckle edge trimmer just for fun. And I'm not even measuring these. I suppose I could. That way I can cover them with another little... I'm going to put another piece of paper behind this. Maybe like red. Make it a little more festive. But for now I'm just going to cut them down. And then all I'm going to do is... I can just glue these on red paper and then just eyeball it <laughs> again. And trim that down around the edges, you know. So like this piece, I'll take this. I need to get some red paper, but let's pretend this is red. All I'm going to do is just glue them on, give them a little bit of spacing, and then just cut around them. You know, once it's glued, bring it in here, cut it down, and I'll have a little tag that says what is on in there. And then these guys, I'm just going to cut them up and leave them like that. So we'll just tuck them into the bag. So I need to cut it like right here. So the instructions are cute. I just thought it was a fun idea because they're so good. And right now is a fun time to have a little project too. And it keeps. They keep for a long time. All those ingredients that are in there aren't anything, you know, obviously the peanuts, but they all keep for a while. So, that'll be lots of fun. So I'll pop this in here. And I'll cut the rest of them up and I'll be right back. I'll show you real quick what I was talking about. Like these are glued on here now. And I'll just come in here. Pull that edge off. Let's push that through there. They're still wet. I like I literally just put these on here. And maybe trim that off. I'm not looking for perfection here, but I can trim it down a little bit if I need to. Uh, fix that up a little bit. Cute. Put this one right in half. And that way you don't even have to like measure anything if you don't want to. I'm not, like I said, looking to keep them all the same. That part doesn't really matter to me. How cute! Even being a little messy like that, I think it's fun. Um, let's see, this one I am going to cut a little bit more off the bottom though, because I can tell the top has quite a bit less. So let me trim that up. Okay. And when I get the smaller little peanuts in, I will put those in right here. So let's grab... This, I'm telling you, I will still make stocking stuffers because, you know, like I showed you guys, little um, mm, sleighs, the Santa sleighs. Kids love them, and I usually line those up on the mantle um, so the kids have them there, and they're so cute. But um, I also like to throw a little something in their stocking stuffer, which is something like, well, this is the first time I've done this. I thought it was a really fun idea. But I'm also going to put some other items. <laughs> so let's see... We have that. We just clip it on with our little guy. I think it's really cute. Oh my gosh. And then with a the little pack of peanuts, it's going to be even more adorable. So just another quick idea, um, a different type of taste. And hopefully you guys try out. Even if it's not for a little um, Christmas stocking stuffer, it's definitely really fun to try out and to eat them. And people go wild with these things. So, all right, guys, thanks for watching. And, you know, have a very Merry Christmas if I don't talk to y'all until afterwards. But I do need to draw um, some names for the giveaway that I'm just um, finishing up. It ends tonight on the 22nd at midnight uh, for the Bodabra and some other goodies I'll include with the Bodabra. So if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's not here. Please don't say enter me here. Um, but I'll see you guys with the other videos, okay? Bye now.